Welcome everybody to the Nintendo Castle podcast with me. I am the Future Shadows, as always. Uh, a couple new folk this time. Reagan, a.k.a. Hey. Donka Bomber, a.k.a. Reagan the Bomber, a.k.a. Hey. Foon Red 100, a.k.a. Rego Prego. A.k.a. Winspear, a.k.a. Watson, a.k.a. Eric Clapton, a.k.a. Jimi Hendrix. Yes. <laughs> with his compadre potato. Hi, Courtney. She ignores me. <laughs> she is ignoring both of us. Uh, potassium iodide, a.k.a. KG. Hello. Lark12. Hello. And Lark guy who's Lark playing Minecraft right now, Link8150. Uh, what, Reagan? Lark, you spoke out of Courtney's Skype thing. My Skype's all messed up. <laughs> oh, it doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. What is it with the cow? <laughs> Uh... Oh my gosh, mother! Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this is a fairly oh my gosh. regular podcast. We have the news, the interview with Darren from Shinesparkers.net, a review with these two new staff members we have here. Uh, one of them's not present in this podcast, Grim Efferton and Dodongo Bomb, aka everything I just said earlier. Hey! Uh, we have a roundtable where we discuss our predictions for E3 and other stuff, because we never stay on topic. And uh, that's it. So, I guess we'll just segue straight into the news. So, about a week ago, Nintendo revealed its methods for streaming E3 and updating its uh, social networking sites to keep the people who can't join the stream updated on stuff. Oh, that's useful. Like T4TV.com. Or their actual site. Yeah. I don't recommend going to G4. G4 sucks. G4 sucks, man. I don't like G4. I hate, hate G4. Yeah, G4 anyway. Potato. What? Your turn. Do what? Go. Oh, number two. Do number two. Mario Tennis I open. Mario Tennis Open. That's boring. Amazing. That's what he wrote. That was amazing, Courtney. You're so awesome. Well, I was expecting you to elaborate a bit. I don't know anything about it. That's what he, he was, wrote. He could have said he was released. I didn't know that. <laughs> you just I wrote Mario Tennis Open. You, he <laughs> gave, he gave you a topic to talk about, that. and you didn't think to ask what don't it was. Don't tell me these things. Anyway, yes, it was just released recently on the 3DS. It's not like I should play it every day or anything. Yeah, she just works here. She doesn't actually go to the site. I do. Anyway. Yeah. Peter, who would do that? So wait, number three? My turn? Yes. Go. Breaking news! The 3DS has been released in Midnight Purple. Come get your copy from the local retailer today. Yes. Cool. I like my Zelda one better. Oh, well, screw you! I don't even have one, so you know. The same as the one over here. Okay. 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 So, uh, recently, Zelda Reorchestrated did another live presentation where they answered live questions and they gave us answers mostly. Uh, they announced that they were, will be recording the choir very, very, very soon, like a month. And there's no planned release date yet. But if you donated before they ended the donation period, you there's a site that you can go to, backers.zremusic.com, and you if you haven't got an email already, you should have gotten one if you donated. And you can input all your information to get your cake or CD. That was a cute. Yawn. <laughs> Shut up. It's cute. <laughs> this is not the time. You too. You feel okay? That's about it. And cows. Anyway, <laughs> that's it for the news. I don't get uh, the cow thing. <laughs> up next will be an interview with uh, Darren from Shinesparkers.net. That's pretty cool. So, see you there. Welcome everybody to the interview with 
me, I'm the Few Shadows, Potato, M. Have, and we're interviewing Darren from ShineSparkers.net. Go! <laughs> Say hi. Okay, hello. Let's just start this. What is your favorite Metroid game, and why? Oh, you're asking a Metroid fan what his best Metroid game is his favorite, rather. Um, long story, really. Um, but I'll try and get short. Metroid Prime, for me, it just has, um, it just has everything. It's just the best Metroid game, in my opinion. It's the first game that I started with, and it's just a game that's really captured my imagination. And it's just a game that I've constantly played for nearly ten years. And going from Metroid Prime to other games such as Super Metroid, and that's just that's just kind of how it developed and grew, really. From there, my love for Metroid. How do you feel about the way Metroid is headed as a series? Okay. Um. Well, obviously, the most recent Metroid game that we've had, Metroid Other M has been quite controversial. Um, I think they tried to take the series back to its roots with its 2D side-scrolling um, sort, of, uh, sort of approach. Um, it's a game that I think, I, I think personally, I think it's, it's a game that I really enjoyed. Uh, um, it's a game that a lot of my friends didn't um, for various reasons. If the series was to continue that way, I think fans may be disappointed. I think fans would rather see a Metroid Prime 4 or a, well, a 2D side-scrolling Metroid game um, similar to Fusion and Super Metroid. Um, that's the direction I would like to see, however, the, I would like to see something like a 2D game. It's been the next Metroid game, I think. Um, that's, that's the series that I appreciate the most at the moment. How do you feel about the future of the Metroid community? I think the Metro community is strong. I think it's a very passionate community. And it's been going for a while. If we go back maybe 15 years to Metro Database, you know, that fan base has grown and it just hasn't stopped. It's got over a thousand users and Shine Spark has, has been around for just over a year. And on Facebook alone, it has over 600 fans. So the, the, the Metro fan community is very much um, very much there, it's very strong, and I think it's probably going to keep growing, especially if a new game is announced and it starts to bring in more fans. I think that's going to be fantastic, and I can only see the Metroid fan base uh, growing and getting even stronger and better as the years go by. Hmm. Well, the Metroid series is a, is a series that has developed and changed over the years. However, it has gone back and introduced a lot of, um, a lot of classic um, moves, such as the Speed Booster um, from Super Metroid, recently appeared in Upper M. Um, I'd like to see more creative ways of playing Metroid. I think control schemes would be interesting if a Metroid game is released for the Wii U. Um, I'd really like to see a good use of the Wii U controller. I think it's important that each Metroid experience is different so that people can experience the game in different ways. And uh, I haven't really been disappointed with a control scheme for a new Metroid game. Uh, as for new abilities, I'm not sure. Um, I, w I would like to see a returning ability. I'd like to see the Hyper Beam come back because I think that's just overpowered as hell. I think it would be awesome. So, yeah, I'd really like to see something like that. I'd like to see a new story. Um, if we're going to have a new Metroid game uh, for a first-person adventure, I'd like to see us move away from the Prime series, and I'd like to see us move into a new story, uh, as similar to Metroid Prime, but not with the phase on and Dark Sands. So, I suppose, as a concept for story, that would be the direction I'd want it to go. Okay. You mentioned all the time on your web website that Metroid Other M has caused a rift in the fan community. Uh, can you yeah. elaborate? Can, can you elaborate on this? Um, I, I can try. I can't speak for everyone, of course. Um, this is a question I do try to avoid with interviews because it's such a controversial topic, and it's still one now. Um, but I'll try to be honest. Um, I think it's called a rift in the community because people are expecting it to be 
something where everyone gets an idea of who Samus is. And once people found who Samus was to be human, pretty much, and someone with problems, someone that, that isn't indestructible, I think people were put off because Metroid really hasn't had much of a story. It's always been very kind of shoot to kill. Um, we haven't really heard too much about Samus unless we refer to the manga, uh, which a lot of people outside of Japan probably haven't. So I think it was quite a surprise to people, really. And um, I think that's been a problem. I also think another problem was the controls. I think trying to incorporate such an advanced control scheme into one remote was, uh, was pretty ambitious. And uh, I think that caused a few problems for people. Um, personally, I think the, pe the people that actually like it, I think they appreciated the fact that uh, Samus did have a story. I think the cutscenes were pretty amazing, and I think a lot of people would appreciate those. Um, but yeah, other end is a pretty controversial topic. So I, I think, from my own personal opinion and my own personal point of view, I think it caused a rift due to various people assuming that Samus was someone that she wasn't and uh, now that they know who she is I'm not sure if people are happy about that I think people want her to go back to being a muted character and uh, we can only see what Nintendo has for her next I suppose How did you get into video games? What was your first video game? My first video game well, my first Nintendo game was Pokemon Blue. I absolutely adore Pokemon Blue, it's a fantastic game. Um, and from there, I just kind of went into the Pokemon series, kind of head first. And uh, that was my introdu uh, introduction to Nintendo. Um, but my very first um, console and video game, which people outside of the UK probably wouldn't even have heard of this, it's ZX Spectrum. Um, which is a home computer, and I got that when I was about four or five years old, and my first game was a game called Treasure Island Dizzy, and uh, I had much fun on that, and uh, yeah, it's a great game, it's something that I have happy memories of. Well, I'd very much like to see something at E3, um, however, I'm not too sure um, right now if Nintendo are resting the series, or they're going to be giving it a break for a little while, or they're going to release something. It, it's pretty much up in the air, I'm really not sure. I would like to see something on the 3DS next. I think people would really appreciate um, a remake of Metroid 2, or Metroid Dread, as it's been known um, as being like the follow-up to Fusion, the sort of next chapter, if you will, of the Metroid uh, series. Um, so I've, I think that would be a good approach. Um, if it does come for Wii U, I think we're going to be waiting a few years. Um, I think there's more games that Nintendo would want to focus on first. Um, we may hear bits and pieces at E3 uh, in the next couple of years, but um, yeah, I'd like to see something on the 3DS. I think that's probably going to be the most likely uh, place where we're going to see the next Metroid game. Was it very difficult to organize the artists and tracks of, for your album, Harmony of, of the Hunter? Um, well, Harmony of the Hunter is a, um, is a very difficult thing to organize when you're working with so many different musicians. We had uh, 36 musicians uh, and groups the last time around, and uh, contacting and communicating with those people individually um, can be somewhat challenging. Um, however, it is quite nice to see a diverse range of musicians, and uh, you have to respect that people do things differently and not everyone is the same, so it's important that you approach things on an individual basis rather than treating everyone the same. Um, so it can be it can be challenging. I, I must have sent over a thousand emails um, in the last Harmony of the Hunter. I think I've sent just about as many for our um, our expansion that we're currently working on. Uh, it's been uh, it's been quite hectic, but um, I'm doing the best I can. And the musicians seem to respect the fact that I'm I'm kind of working fat out to uh, to try and organise everything. And they're putting in the effort as well. The music is coming along very well for the expansion and. Uh, and the people that worked on it previously, um, I think the fans kind of speak for it really, it seems to have been very well received. So um, yeah, although challenging, 
I think it's been reasonably well received, and I think that's something that is uh, that's kind of driving me forward this time around. What projects are you and your staff work currently working on? Uh, well, outside of the expansion that we're currently working on, like I just mentioned, uh, we're also looking into doing a few features for the website. Um, those are ongoing. Uh, we're constantly looking for new interviews with uh, various uh, staff members in Nintendo and uh, fan projects, which we're quite uh, happy to offer a little bit of exposure to. Um, so we're, we're looking at maybe reviews, um, uh, features, uh, like opinion pieces, and, and things like that. Um, but right now, I think the main focus is on our expansion 101% run, which uh, we hope to release this year. Alright. Final question. What do you have against love and friendship in the popular television series, My Little Pony? Okay, I think we're done here. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much for the interview. Goodbye. <laughs> Thank you for letting us interview you. That's not a problem. Yeah. Uh, goodbye. Goodbye. Okay, welcome everybody to the first of two staff interviews with Skirmaphitan. Uh, yeah, that guy. So, let's just... Yeah, say hi. <laughs> hey. And we're here with Regan and... Uh, that's Reagan, you haven't met him yet. And Potato, who's annoyingly hitting a coin on her desk and yes. won't stop. Courtney, just cool it. He's using his... Well, maybe I'll stop it when you stop using that voice. Oh, oh. I'll do my best. I'm not trying. It's just going out this way. Potato. Stop. Potato. But he's just going to work. Okay, I'll stop. Okay, so, Skirm, why did you join the Nintendo Festival? Um... Okay, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what am I saying? Um... Oh my gosh. <laughs> Guys, we're trying to do an interview here. Great podcast used. I know. <clears throat> ah. So, uh... <laughs> so, Skirm, why did you join the Nintendo Castle team? Uh, I have no idea. Um, I joined... <laughs> I joined because I wanted to take on another project of the sort along with Zelda Eternity and I was like, hey, why don't I help Nintendo Castle because they have such nice people over there. So, that's what I did. Okay. Uh, so Reagan dropped out, so I guess we'll just read his question. Uh, what's your favorite Zelda game? Oof. Ooh, um, I, didn't you ask me this question last time I was interviewed? Um, yes, but that's in the first podcast, so just... Well, I'm going to say the, the CDI games, because I thought those were very well done. Okay. I have all of them, by the way. Very intuitive story. Thought provoking. Yes. I'm 15, don't judge me. Alright. Potato. Hmm? I'll ask it since I dropped. Three. Number three? Yes. So, Skirm, do you have anything to the upcoming Wii U? Potato! I told him oh my to stop this woman! I told him to stop doing the voice. Not trying, just well, he can try to stop. He can explore. The coin isn't warm, Colin. So scary. Anyway, yeah. Um. Uh. 
Um, yeah, I'm pretty excited about it. Um, mm. Apparently, I was just reading some news the other day about it, um, about it. Like the final development kits have been set out, so I've we've seen a couple of pictures of how it's gonna be, and there's all this hype and all this wonderful things being heard about it. So um, I'm pretty confident that it will live up to the expectations that Nintendo and other people have given it. So I guess we'll have to wait and mm. wait for E3 to see all that. Yeah, it does seem pretty exciting, you know. Which, and you also asked me that same question last time. <laughs> just, just, just roll with it. Just roll okay. with it. Should I ask the next question too? I guess. If potatoes. All right. Um. So, Skirm, what's your favorite Nintendo game in general? Um. Favorite Nintendo game. In general, like, do you have a non-favorite? I mean, a non-Zelda? Let's go with Metroid. Yeah. I'm what? I'm not doing it. Is that, is that it? Yeah. Even though I absolutely don't like it, but yeah, that's my answer. <laughs> Actually, I am too. It's just. I never, I never give it the, you know, the time of day to play. I could, I have a couple of Metroid games. It's just. <laughs> yeah, I know. What you mean. Metroid finds kind of a clusterfuck if you don't play it all in a couple of days. If you play it and then save it for a couple of weeks and come back to it, you have no idea what you're doing. <laughs> Okay, next question. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> this is my favorite. Uh, what's your favorite pony in My Little Pony? Applejack. Good answer. Good answer. I'm more of a Rainbow Dash guy myself, but... Huh. Applejack's pretty cool, too. Okay, that's it for the interview. Why was I here? Oh. To drop you coins. Yeah. Well, I'm fine with that, but... It's not you what ask a question and Reagan answered asked it instead. Well, okay. 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 Okay, we're you two. Welcome everybody to the Nintendo Castle <sighs> interview with Reagan the Bomber and Dodonka Bomber. Hi. That's the best <laughs> Wind Spirit. Wind. Uh, yes, aka Wind Spirit, aka Rego Frego, aka Reggie, aka Reggie. Hey, eh, 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 eh. Only Courtney can call me that. Right? I don't call you that. You have in the past. As a joke, maybe. <laughs> yeah, well, it's still cute. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand your sense of cute. Well, doesn't matter. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> Why did you join Nintendo Castle? Uh, well, you know, Where's I thought... Britain? Why did you join Nintendo Castle? Yeah, why did you join oh. Nintendo Castle? I thought I could help the site with my skills. Stop that. That's the honest Jesus answer. Jesus. I have skills. Stop that. Okay, yeah. No, really? I mean, you know, I think I was like a... I think I could be valuable, because you guys have a lot of content you need to write, and, you know... Yeah, so I figured, you know, I could do the odd games out, you know, I can do, you know, like, things like not a lot of people are doing Metroid at this time, you know, I could do some Metroid, I can do some whatever, you know? Yeah. Uh, about Nintendo. What? What? What's the next question, Courtney? It's something about Nintendo. What is it about Nintendo? Favorite Nintendo game? Hmm. I have a lot of favorite Nintendo games. If I had to pick... I, I think, you know, first, you know, just like, knee-jerk response would be like, you know, probably Twilight Princess Majora's Mask or something like that. But, um, I think it's a little too predictable, so I'm probably going to say Mother 3. I think I really love that game a lot. You know. Yeah. <clears throat> favorite band? Favorite band. 
Don't get me started, man. I like lots of bands. Why did you even ask that? Um, I don't know. Okay. He's going to talk for an hour. Led Zeppelin, probably followed by the Beatles, and then I have other favorite bands too, you know, like the Jimi Hendrix Experience, uh, Big Brother and the Holding Company, other bands, you know. But yeah, I took Led Zeppelin, so. Ah, good man. Next question. What do you expect from E3 this year? <clears throat> um, lots of video games, actually, you know. I have a strong feeling about this. Maybe some video games, uh, maybe some video game systems. Um, I don't know, that's pretty far-fetched, rather. I don't know, I mean, yeah. Well, okay, I don't know, but I wouldn't say what do I expect, but I hope to see something about a new Zelda game. You know, that's always the most exciting part for me, like seeing them unveil a new Zelda or Metroid game or something, something really epic that I know I'm going to enjoy to play, you know, no matter what. Yeah. The unveiling of first party games is usually pretty great. So, like, dude, do you remember when Other M was, like, you know, they were showing Other M, everyone was like, what the heck is this? And then you see Samus, and it was like, oh my gosh, it's Samus! And I was like, yeah, that was great. You know. I wasn't a video game fan at that point. You're going to eat your family. Uh, actually, <laughs> I about two years ago, my brother unveiled a copy of Ocarina of Time. Ocarina of Time. He handed it to me, and that's where it all started. Before that, I wasn't really big into video games. Well, <clears throat> you so, still have time to save yourself. You know, yes, I do. From my wrath and eating your family. I might spare your brother though, since he gave you the game. You know. <sighs> Next question. Boxers or briefs? Well, when I was a young boy and I moved to this land, my father said, Reagan, you must choose between boxers or briefs. And I said, why, father? And he said, because you can only wear one at, at a time. So I figured, why do I have to wear one at a time? So I looked for something called boxer briefs, and I wear those. See, the thing is, boxers, it's too loose, briefs, it's too tight with boxer briefs. I don't briefs, think I like, want to hear about this. You get plenty of, you know, room, and it's comfortable. But, it's, but with boxers, you can just... Uh, you can prevent them from riding up your leg if you do it right. Well, I do wear boxers occasionally, but typically I wear boxer briefs. Right, right now, I'm wearing boxer briefs. Yep. But, um, I do wear boxers occasionally. You know, I never wear briefs, though, because just plain briefs, teddy whities and that. Yeah, they're kind of... Kind of gross, disgusting. I think it's way too. Ugh. Way too, way too tight down. There. You need room. This is so awkward for Courtney. I find this new. <laughs> that's the purpose of this question. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's all we have for the staff interviews here. Uh, Thank you. Good night. <laughs> wanted to recap, it was Reagan and uh, Dodongo Bomber and Scrumefitin. So you'll be seeing Reagan as a content writer and. Maybe a video specialist, depending on how lazy the rest of the staff is. Yeah. And Scrum Effiton as a news correspondent slash poster. And we'll be editing our pages to include better grammar. So, yeah, expect them to see them around this fantastic place of ours. Oh, yeah. Say goodbye. Bye. Bye. Ready? So, welcome, everybody, to the I said I'm not ready. Castle Round Table. Uh, with the same people in the intro, but if you didn't remember that, then it's Link8150, Lark12, Kiki, Potassium I died, uh, yes, those are two people, Potato and Reagan. Good day, friends. Hey, wow. Colin. And not Colin, this is Cheese. Oh. Colin. What's up, Colin? What's up, Carl? Uh, oh. uh, so, this is Roundtable topic is E3 predictions, since E3 is coming up in a week or two, or not two, Well, call. Week. Can I say my piece of this call? <laughs> so, <laughs> look, look, why don't you, uh, start us off here? <laughs> okay, Wii U yes. will be released. Oh, Wii, when... Wii, 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 Wii. <laughs> Uh, probably, probably in November. November. Yeah. Or December, somewhere around there. Holidays. <laughs> probably November. November is when all the big games and stuff come out. You gonna be getting yourself one, Mark? 
Uh, yeah. Okay. Stupid question. I'm probably not gonna get it at launch. Yeah, I usually get mine a year after for new systems. That's just my thing. What a hipster. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> oh, excuse me. <laughs> that was me, I'm sorry. Well, you know, Mass Effect 3 you came out. You a hipster. Ew, Mass Effect. Then, uh... Kingdom Hearts 3D's coming out, that so I, I, I just won't, I won't have the money. Yeah, I still gotta get Diablo 3. I pre-ordered oh. Kingdom Hearts. <sighs> Mark of Mastery. The Mark of Mastery version. I paid $53 already. Or well, 57 whatever Diablo 3? Well, I don't. Don't make fun of me. <laughs> I don't either. None of us do. I really want it, though. Anyway, um, Reagan, go. What? <laughs> <laughs> okay, your prediction for E3? I think we're gonna see um video games. Yeah. Probably oh, video dude. games. System. Dude, yeah. dude, that's a bit far off, man. I don't know. I, I, I know it's. I know it's a little radical, but I've just been thinking. No, don't you yeah. dare. You're getting a feeling that this year they're just going to do something different and show video games. I, I don't know. I mean, like, it's usually they don't really show many video games. In season three, but I think this year we're going to see if you, you know, definitely. <laughs> so. Guys, stop having a relationship argument in the chat. Have a relationship argument here. It's funny. <laughs> It's not funny if they can't read it. <laughs> it's part of what makes it funny. Anyway. Poco. Poco, wait, Poco. Poco. We're not gonna join the podcast. Don't talk in the chat while we're recording yeah. the podcast. Yeah. Poco, join. Make Poco join. He can join us now. Uh, this is a great this podcast. Is the of Come the on, Courtney, seriously. About stuff. <laughs> what? Oh, uh, let's see. I think we're probably going to see Assassin's uh, Creed 3. Whole, well, yeah, that, but a whole ton of trailers for the Wii U and. Yeah, a lot of, a of going of off the Wii U. Yeah. As well as uh, a few launch titles. I want to see more Assassin's Creed 3 for Wii U. I want to see more of your face. There's gonna be a lot. They're gonna show off a lot of Wii U launch titles and stuff. Yeah, it's mainly gonna focus around the Wii U this year. Suck it, Sony and Microsoft. Yeah, they haven't been doing too good at E3s lately. Last year's Microsoft and Sony conference were so boring. It was unbearable. But there was a new Call of Duty game. Oh. Oh, wait, there was? Another new Call of Duty game. They updated oh the gosh. graphics and added four new maps. So, you know, wow, four? That's almost as much as three. Hey, but not quite. Wait, I did my math wrong. <laughs> <laughs> four is almost as much as three. It quite. is. Because that's three, and that's a magic number. You know, three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen, twenty-one, twenty-four, twenty-seven, thirty. That's how I learned. Schoolhouse Rock right here. My dad talking. Yeah. That was really random. I'm sorry. Okay. What? Uh, I just sang a song. We're talking about the event. Well, what would the world be like without music? Let's be serious here. Life, life would suck without music. Music's amazing. Music is my jam. Let's sing some music. I agree with Reagan, except for the singing part. Ah, <laughs> uh, fine. I'll sing without you then. <gasps> no, no, not that song. Don't sing that song. Let's sing That's Enjoy the song. Silence by Depeche Mode. I love that song. I have no idea what any of those words meant. All I ever wanted, all, all I ever needed is here in my arms. My arms are empty right now, so never mind. Are we still recording? Yeah. Yes. yes. This is what makes oh, right. podcast good. Woo! What makes yes. it slow. Mm. We still need MHave here, though. Oh, the Nordic and, and, and Why do we record at night? <laughs> what, what is it like? 4 a.m. Can't record at night, then complain that M. Hayes not here. He can't sleep it. 
If M. Hafe was here, me and Link would be talking about Minecraft, and he would get very angry, and he would leave. Yeah. Minecraft is good. Are you kidding? I love Minecraft. Dude. Minecraft's amazing. And he doesn't. Courtney doesn't understand how awesome Minecraft is. Minecraft is like. Amazing. It's like E3 predictions? Okay. E3 oh, predictions. Oh, yeah, I forgot we're doing that. E3 yeah. 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 This isn't an audio call, Reagan. This is a. My, they're gonna show Minecraft. Really, I was under the impression this isn't Minecraft audio call. Minecraft for the Wii U. We're audioing right now. You Minecraft for the Wii U. Minecraft for the Wii U. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. You just said this wasn't an audio call. Are you stupid? Kind of a little bit. Okay. <laughs> you stupid? Is you stupid? Derp. Derp. You're like, this isn't an audio call. <laughs> it has nothing to do with audio. Herp, herp. Link it up, Mary. Kiki, talk. Link, talk. I was talking. Reagan, be quiet. I'm just not talking now. No, <laughs> shut up. I'm going to eat your fans followed by your face. What? I'm going to kill your firstborn. <laughs> I'm going to kill you and steal your powers because you're my totem spirit. Think. Uh, <laughs> I'm pretty sure he's my totem spirit. I mean, I'm a bit confused. I'm gonna keep talking because I don't even care what people say, you know? Okay, okay, keep I don't care what the people go, say! Go, 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 go! Oh my god! I love you every day! Reagan, be quiet. No! Trying to make some ladders here. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, like, go. So, Good lord. Last year, wasn't there a thing about HD Zelda or something? Where there's something being about a, uh, a title for the Wii U with Zelda. Yes. That looks amazing. That. That, that yeah. Amazing. We haven't seen That's much of a tech thing. demo. But, like... Yeah. Oh, my God, dogs. Oh, let's I've talk about what we want. Friends. Like, what kind of graphical dogs. style we want for I Zelda the Wii U. Okay. I honestly want a more realistic style, like Twilight Princess. I mean, some people think it's ugly because it's too realistic, but it, I think it still has some cartoon aspects. And like, if we could do like a mix somehow of Ocarina of Time and Twilight Princess graphics, I think that'd be so what I want. Dude, I don't think there's a single Zelda out there without some cartoonish aspects. Well, yeah, but sometimes people complain that Twilight Princess is realistic, and it really isn't. I mean, when you think about Call of Duty or something, it's, it still looks like a video game, not real life, you know? Call of Duty. Fairies in HD. Why do video games have to look like real life? They don't. I, I don't... I mean... I think for some games it benefits. If I wanted like, real like, life, I would go outside. Yeah, <laughs> who needs outdoors? I sleep in an underground bunker, for God's sake. Like, I literally live underground. So do I. I live partially underground. Like, there's a window, but like, right under the window is the ground. I have no window. I literally am underground in a bunker, a bomb shelter. <laughs> okay, no how's window. that working out? It's actually pretty fun. I, I haven't been upstairs in three days. I'm starting to get pale, but, um, you know. Is that why you needed a shave? Uh, yeah, probably. I, I left my razor outside. Yeah, I'm kidding. Anyway. <laughs> no, I do minutes, live in an underground bunker, but I, I can go upstairs and get light if I want. If you want to, but who would want that? <laughs> who needs light? Who needs yeah. air? <laughs> yeah, air is for... Who needs There's, water? Like, air is third on my list. Like, I'm talking like, you know, Zelda, food, air. Not even, no, food doesn't even get second. Food's like... Do you wear an adult diaper? Is that how you, uh, <laughs> you pee? Um, no, I have a tube, right? Oh, God. And I use a funnel. So I use the funnel. Okay, that's better. And then I, suck, I have my family use a vacuum. Okay. So I can just sort of sit in the chair. I'm kidding. I don't even know where I'm going with this. I'm sorry. That was disgusting. <laughs> um, I don't I even think know. That's, I think that's all for this round table. I use a toilet, guys. I'm not that weird. I'm sorry. Okay? <laughs> We're not that <laughs> disgusting. What uh, did I miss? Say. Nothing. Okay, uh, Courtney, you didn't miss anything. Don't worry. Um, are you Third, about okay. Game? This is the end of the round table. Oh. Which is more just a casual audio call thing. <laughs> But, um, this podcast yeah, is, this is, also the, this is also the end of the podcast, so say so goodbye, everyone. No, wait, no. This is the end of the podcast. Yes, this is the end of the podcast. This is the last segment in the podcast. Go, go, go. Ten seconds left. Ten seconds left. Bye. Everyone, say goodbye. Bye. Bye.
the outro after this. So that's it for the podcast, everyone. Uh, I hope you had a very enjoyable experience. And so I, can I know I did. Oh. Thank you, Colin. It's, it's Thank you so much, long. Colin. Yes, and you're welcome, Reagan. You're welcome. Also, as for keys. Everyone say goodbye. Bye. 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 Courtney, say goodbye. Hmm? No. John Derby says hi. What? Yeah. Okay. Bye. Everyone, bye. Final Fantasy. Hey, fun fact. Did you guys know that in Japanese, the Wii U is pronounced Weenie? It's the Weenie. What? <laughs> <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> it's like, oh, it's we and you. That doesn't, that's dramatically incorrect. No, the U stands for unicycle. Oh, totally. Oh. It'll be unicycle, yes. Tiki, you're a genius. <laughs> Later. Hey, are you ready? Hmm? He's ready. What? Reagan? Yeah. Reagan's always ready. <laughs> My body's yeah. ready. Reagan, <laughs> Alright, let's go. Oh, yes. <laughs> um. Okay. Yay! This sounds exciting! Alright, let's, let's go. Yay! Uh, I see my arms aren't cute. So. No, my arms in general are not. Here's ours. Well, that's because I've got all excited. You sound like an idiot. Oh, no. That's <laughs> better than... Okay, yeah. I'll talk like this for the whole interview. That's my favorite pony for my little pony. I like Rainbow Dash. Rainbow Dash is my favorite. Not <laughs> alone. <laughs> Okay. And Courtney, your yarns are really cute. I've told you before. See, here's other guy evidence. There's other guy evidence right here. I can't yeah. explain it. Exactly, yeah. She tells me to explain it every time, and I'm like, I can't. It's just. It's a yarn. Like, I don't know. It's a cute yarn. What? what is cute about yarn? I don't know. That it's because like you I'm produced it, Courtney. Mm-hmm. Well, you are adorable. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> What's your favorite television and why? Well, I find it fascinating. I find it really fascinating Skirm. Well, that was just fabulous. Skirm Atherton. I mean, Skirm Atherton.